Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Code Crafting with Arsla. Today our topic is Elementor Container. In our Elementor recent update are Container Wizards, which is uh, for making websites using container. So this is a recent update. Every Elementor now is come with Elementor Container layout. So in this video, we will uh, learn how to use container, how to use a container by making this type of website, some similar like this, uh, by using container with advanced widgets. So uh, before starting, if you are new in our YouTube channel, please thumbs up our video and must subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for latest and more content. So let's uh, come to our topic. Container. Okay. Container make its website easy for uh, responsiveness, for making uh, blogs, and it's a uh, little tricky, but it's very easy to use our containers. Uh, let's work. I am first. I am uh, provide you examples, and then I will go to the how to use the container and step by step how to you make the section. <coughs> for example, uh, this is our main section. Oh sorry. So this is our uh, main section. So is main section is selected this like it says using a container main container in the in section between section we are using uh, multiple containers. So this is our, uh, our inner container in that container is a exists a one carousel image carousel and one a uh, main again containers. So in main container also take our uh, three different container like a column so this is a container use of flex a CSS or flex bo flex box or display flex so this is a whole related to our flex so uh, hey, let's start it this is a quick overview of a container so I'm adding our new container this is our main so you can use a different type of container so you can use a row wise column so multiple sections inner section you can use something like this if you are using this it's a uh, three container one is main container two is other containers or so something like this so if you are using uh, one to like this 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 you can use your container by element so you can drag your widgets there so i am using a very simple way so i am using uh, this one row so now the setup of this here so this is a container width it is the same full width or uh, you can if your your website is box layout so you can use a box layout if your website is a full width so this is this is something like a box layout is a width is 14 1400 so we are using a box layout so it's width a 1400 pixel so our uh, layout is set uh, you can set as a uh, your min, min height so this is the make a uh, row wise in a column wise a reverse row a reverse column so these are css properties so these are column justified so if uh, you remember you are familiar with css so you know the uh, justify content so if i am setting as row so justify content is a row wise if i am setting as column so, uh, so justify content is a column wise uh, I'm using a row so justify content is row wise my uh, inner section our inner content our inner columns is a start line is a center is a end or is a space between of each container or each child item a space around of each child items and space equally evenly so these are this is justify and align item so if I am using row wise so align item is a column wise if I am using column wise, so uh, my align item is a row wise. So I am using a column wise. So let's next step. I am making something like similar to this. So here's uh, my content. So next step is uh, setting up a background color. Let me. This is the uh, same as a uh, old Elementor. So I am setting up uh, something like this color. So this is the color I am setting up a uh, background. So the next step is uh, image browser. So I am using image browser. Image browser. 
so here this is a simple step of image browser so you can use our uh, different images because there are some images height issue so i think so we need to say equal height so we're removing our logos just add a same size images these are uh, similar i think so we need to remove these at gallery so this is a uh, i'm using a full width this is a setting of our browser full is too big so i'm using a thumbnail Let show five. Scroll to slide are uh, two slides. You must stretch no dots and arrow. Arrows not visible there, but still. So, image browser is set up, set up, setting up. So now we are creating uh, these section by using Elementor. So, what's we we need next? We need a container. We after this so and because so it's uh, come to after the this because we am set, uh, we are setting up our main container as a row based so we go to a uh, column base now our elementary sec uh, container is uh, below of the image browser so setting up the setting of this so our width is uh, we need to full width inner section always be a full width because we are set uh, make a box layout already in, in our main container so this is uh, our intersection so our next step is uh, we need uh, these three row items so once the image section is set we need an other container so its setting is a uh, row wise so now we need an other container so duplicate and duplicate so now our three containers inside of the this section so th our next step is what so it's setting up a uh, text bottom so i'm copy here go to blue simple paste you can go up up copy this one go, go down paste setting up a background image set need to choose a background image this one so center center no repeat so the next step is you can see here our image is full so what's the method of here so justify content is a below of the content because we need to this text in the bottom of the section so now we need a full width this is a hundred percent and minimum height you can set up our height of our column so you can see if i am setting uh, just a center top bottom this like and line atom center top and right so i am setting a start if i am setting a row if i am setting up a column if i am set if i am setting up a row so now it's a uh, something working because we have no space so it's uh, looking like a not work so because it's I'm using a column so setting up a bottom something like this so uh, now if you want to add a gap between uh, columns and rows equally so you can set up here if you want to individually let's suppose you can add a space between column because we have only one column so that's why it's not uh, implement oh yes because we are setting up a column below yes 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 now it's working because it's attached to each other so i'm using our default 20 so go up 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 so what's the setting more here so go to advanced it's setting up padding it's setting up uh, margins 
so we can also set up of these margins and paddings for making something like this go down down uh, go to uh, no, 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 do this padding 40 margin 10 so now it's a uh, same something similar something like this one so it's you can see height is something like this it's a uh, full width so we can go to main container you can set off minimum height so this is our child container and this is our main container so minimum height is a 500 pixel so this is a according to same like this and here's a it's using a overlay so we are also using overlay at say attachment is a scrolling top right and no repeat and cover and also use a overlay so i'm copy the color of overlay go back back setting now setting up here top right and scroll no repeat set up cover and background overlay set up here oh yes you can see it's some something similar to like this so because it's uh, in the here it's a size of 1200 and here's the container is where folder because we are using a 1400 that's why it's looking like a little big from there if i'm crossing you can see now it's looking like a same uh, above if you're using above so you can once uh, once it's complete you can remove this one this one and make duplicate duplicate and change according to your data so it's uh, automatically fully responsive if i am go to responsive side is a mobile go to this you can see it's fully responsive if you want to change the order so for mobile mobile direction you can change the reverse order uh, because it's always a uh, same so that's why you are not uh, feel uh, oh yes yeah reverse order this is a reverse because all the fields are same so you are not uh, feeling that it's a reverse or not reverse for example i am changing one or two image background image for example this one i am changing the oh one second one second need to look back setting up here go down so this is a setting of our image uh, center center this update and also changing there image choose go down this one we can move like something this so uh, center center yes it's looking like okay so now go to our mobile so we are changing the reverse order choose our main layout so reverse row not working on traction of uh, in the mobile let me check on desktop so this reverse row yes it's working on desktop but not on mobile because mobile has a single item so for mobile we are uh, using a responsiveness and reverse order is uh, not available in the container section so uh, here's the complete flow of complete instruction for a container how to use a container how to implement the container and how to we can make a beautiful section by using container and fully responsive no need uh, extra CSS no need of extra code so here's the simple way to how to make a website by using our container thank you if you like our video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channels for latest and more content